Hi everyone, this is Margie the Bootleg Knitter. I know I have not made a video in a while. It was a little short on internet here with, you know, my mom and myself and my son doing all this college work. So, um, it's been a while, but today I felt inspired to make a short little video about how to mix two different fibers to make a roll log so that if you want to make a nice uh, woolen, woolen sweater that's nice and warm that'll trap the air, it's a nice easy way to do it. And there's different reasons why you might want to mix fibers. Uh, one fiber might be really soft, one fiber might be a little sturdier. So when you mix them together, you get the best of both fibers. And that's kind of what I'm doing today. So I have some Cotswold fiber that I prepared in my drum carter. Cotswold is really nice. It could be very coarse, it could be very soft. I was very fortunate. I got a nice soft Cotswold fleece but it's also very sturdy fiber. It's very good for outerwear because it really holds up well to the elements. And then I have some nice Romney because who doesn't love some Romney? Romney is so nice and soft. It's just amazing fleece. And all I did was I combed out my locks so that I have these pieces here. So all I'm going to do, sorry, I dropped my one knitting needle that I need. I'm going to use a hand carter. This is my Ashford hand carter, and I'm going to use a dog brush. And this is my favorite dog brush to use, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm gonna layer it, I think of it like a lasagna. So all I do is I have my drum carter. I like these camo pants, they're hot, right? <laughs> So I'm just going to put a little bit of fiber into the drum cart, the hand carter, sorry, the hand carter as such. So I hope you're all doing well. It's a beautiful day in Maine. A little cloudy, but it's very nice. So I have that in there like that. I'm just going to brush it nice, nice. There we go. Work it in just a couple little brushes just to make it nice and smooth. And then these fibers that are in the dog brush... I'll just comb the knots out of the end, just like you would your own hair. And I'm just going to place them, I'm gonna put them right here in the middle here because it seems to be the most naked spot. Place them back onto the hand carter. Now I'm going to take my Romney and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to spread it out a little bit first because it's a little more of a dense fiber. I'm going to work it into my hand carter I'm going to stretch it. Let me move my camera down a little bit if I can without dropping it. So I'm going to stretch it. And I kind of hold it down like that and put it into the carter. Same thing here. Put that in there. Again, stretch this out nice. So now I have my Romney fiber on top. Take my dog brush. I'm just going to brush it through to help mix the fibers together. I'm also going to just do a little bit right here just to get those ends nice and fluffy. Sometimes I turn it over and if it looks good, see so that looks nice. Sometimes you'll see a little bunches and then I'll comb that as well. Just I'll put it against my leg nice and gentle. So I do that one more time with each fiber. So again, I take my Cotswold fiber. I gotta get a little more here. Put that one through. Here we go. Cotswold is a nice curly fiber. It does not have a lot of lanolin for the most part. So I do not wash it before I process it. I just do it, I got a pretty clean fleece. I just do it that way. I just take it and put it through my drum carter because it's easier. I did wash some of it and it ended up tightening the curls up to the point where it's a big pain in the dupayash in order to get then get the curls apart to flick open the ends or put through your drum carter. It's just much easier doing as what I call a dirty fleece. My Romney was washed and dried. And then, like I said, I took the locks and I combed them. I just used a dog comb, just like this. Just flicked my ends apart. See, it's nice and fluffy. It reminds me of a troll back in the day, those little troll dolls. I'm showing my age, I know. We actually, ha we actually had, when we got married, we had the bride and groom trolls at our wedding because we thought it was cute. Because why not? Life's too short not to have fun, right? And be silly. 
So I had my birthday this month, and it was the beginning of the month. Actually, April it was. And my husband got me this nice spider jacket because I always said I wanted a spider jacket. And I'm very psyched because I have really long arms, and this jacket has nice long arms. It's actually perfect. And it's good for these uh, the cooler main evenings this time of year. There we go. And again, today is May 4th, so may the 4th be with you. For my Christian former students, my Mondonians as I call them, they know what to live the 4th means. We always said go, go and live the 4th. And it means to uh, go forth and, you know, spread the good news, so to say. There we go. Now I'm just going to, I took my knitting needle and I'm going to, I'll turn it this way so it's easier to see. I took, take my knitting needle. I found the wooden needles are better because the fiber sticks to it a little bit. I kind of take my troll hair at the top here, squeeze it in the middle, wrap it around my wooden need, knitting needle, roll it until I get to the edge. And then what I find helps to get it off of the hand carter is I use the metal edge of my dog brush. If you don't have that, you can use a comb. Something just, you don't want to dig in hard. It's just that little bit just to help you break up those fibers so that they can come up loose. And again, I just had to do it. Sometimes on the edges, it'll stick a little bit. See how it's sticking right there? I'll just have to break it loose a little bit with the dog brush. There we go. And now it's going down a little bit more on this edge. Sometimes they come off really easily and sometimes they're in there really tight and you have to help them out a little bit. We'll just keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Okay, I'm almost there. And now you'll see I'll get to the edge and sometimes you get this happening. So what I'll do is I will just roll it by hand on my hand carter. Pick it up a little bit so you can see better. Just roll it and push it in tight to get it nice and tight. Push it in tight. It does not hurt your hands as long as you don't you know, dig your fingers into the prongs of your hand carter. I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling. Right, Axel? My old man Axel's here with me. And here we go. So now I just pop that knitting needle out. There we go. So now I have a nice, beautiful mixed fiber roll log, and I will just pull it from the center when I go to spin this. And it'll make a nice woolen spun fiber perfect for sweaters because it'll capture a little bit of extra air and make it nice and warm, but also soft because of the Romney and more durable because of the Cotswold. So sometimes you might want to mix fibers and this is, it's not a fast way to do it, but it is a very relaxing way to do it. Like I have an hour to spare right now, so I don't want to get into anything heavy. So this is like a perfect thing. I have an hour, all right, so I can do some fiber and I just put it in my bag over here. And when I'm ready to spin, see I have a whole bunch in here. Here's a nice fat one. When I'm ready to spin, they're all ready waiting for me. So that's it. That's how to make a fiber lasagna and then roll it up like a cannoli. All right, everyone have a great day and may the fourth be with you.